Hey, what's going on, true believers? This is Josh here from Polymathics, and today I wanted to talk to you about some interesting news that was in uh, CNN.com. You see, uh, Amazon has recently purchased an application called Comixology. And. And for those of you that aren't familiar with what Comixology is, it is um, an application that is used on smartphones and other mobile devices like your tablet that allows you to purchase and download um, comic books so that you can digitize comic books. Now, the reason why this is so important is is twofold. Well, first of all, let's take a look at Comixology, right? Um, aside from game apps, it was the number one grossing app in of last year. So that's pretty impressive uh, to to start off with. And um, I think it made something. Uh, if I read Business Insider right, something like seventy million which essentially has tripled its revenues since its uh, inception. So that's pretty, that's pretty good track record, pretty good trend going up. And for Amazon, this is huge because you got to remember when Amazon initially started, it started, it's hard to believe, but it started as a bookstore, an online digital media retailer selling books. And... Um, Somehow it became this juggernaut that it is today, taking out things like borders and eating them for breakfast. But um, it looks like it intends to do the same thing to comic book stores, brick and mortar comic book stores across the world. And um, so that's bad news for people who run those businesses because it's going to be really difficult for them to find incentives for their customers who are probably very familiar with Comixology, very familiar with Amazon, and very and probably own some form, shape, type of tablet. So, um, and, and the, the thing that they're going to get um, is the ability to download multiple comics at the click of a button for super cheap anywhere they want they don't have to go to a store to go do that they can do it in the comfort of their living room on a rainy day or on a hot day or whatever it might be right and that comic book can basically never be destroyed it's always backed up right it's it's also backed up quote unquote by Amazon's, you know, customer service and and things like that, which people have come to know, it's a standard in the digital media industry. So, um, so I mean, that's that's kind of bad news for stores who uh, historically have, you know, driven their business around those kind of sales. However, there is good news. There's actually really great news. For writers, creators, artists who are involved in comic books. Not only for those who uh, are already part of like the 2,500 different companies that distribute through or to Comixology, but also to the indies out there, to the independent publishers who would more than likely never had the opportunity to touch uh, such a widespread global audience or provide them with such good services. I mean, you got to think about it. Like when you team up with Amazon, yes, do they get a profit or do they get a piece of the pie? Absolutely. But so would any other publishing company. The, the, the key here is that it allows for first-time... Uh, writers and comic artists and um, independents to really get their foot in the door uh, with a lot less risk 
and a lot more, um, what's the word, credibility, right? Because with Amazon comes a ton of credibility. So, um, so anyways, this is going to change the, the comic book industry much like the Kindle changed um, the book industry and it and continues to change it. So anyways, uh, I thought it was interesting uh, news for those of you who both read and write comic books. So um, anyways, until next time, I, I hope this was uh, helpful, but until next time, take it easy.